Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Richie's Robots. Uh, in this episode, we'll be focusing on the Philips Hue lighting system. Uh, we're going to see, uh, learn how we can read values about lights and accessories that are connected to the Huey bridge and set values for the accessories connected to the Huey bridge, such as turning lights on and off, changing their color, and making them brighter or dimmer. Uh, you'll need a Huey bridge for this and at least one Huey light. Uh, it can just be a normal like filament one that you see here or one that is able to do multiple colors. Uh, it does not matter for this uh, episode because uh, I'm going to show you how to do the basic functions of the light. The advantage of this is when you can get and set values for these uh, accessories, you can then use the ESP32 and a simple button and a simple motion detector and so forth to be able to control them yourself. So you won't then need to buy the expensive uh, devices from Philips, such as uh, the uh, remote, which costs about $25 to $30, or the motion sensor, which is about the same amount of price, uh, to be able to do this. You'll be able to do this all yourself for a fraction of the cost. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing we're going to have to do is get the IP address of the Huey bridge. We're going to need this to access it from via either our computers or the ESP32. And to get the IP address is quite simple. Uh, the simplest way is to go to the Huey app. Once you're at the Huey app, go to settings, select your Huey bridge, select the bridge you want to use if you have multiple, and you'll see there the IP address at the bottom. In this case, mine is 192.168.178.5. So to be able to do anything, we need to log on to the um, Huey, the bridge. And to do that, we use the uh, IP address and we go to debug slash clip.html. Here we can do get, put, post, and delete requests. Now we're gonna be mostly interested in the get and the put requests. Before we start, you can, if you need to do anything here, you'll find that, for instance, if we try to run this command uh, in our browser, and say get, you'll see it says unauthorized user. So there is a level of uh, security here that needs to be uh, done, and that is in regards to getting the API. You need the API, which is a special uh, combination of letters and numbers, in order to access the bridge and do anything at all with it. Uh, this is a requirement for any app or anything that communicates with it. So in order to get the API, we will first um, tell it what device type we want to do. And here we're going to say it's going to be my new Huey app. So it's going to store it as that. And when we do this, we're going to have to create a user account within that app. And we're going to say ESP32 communications. What we need to then do is post that and it will say first uh, click, press the link button on the actual Huey. So let me show you what that is. So what we need to do is within a minute, we have to press that link button. If we don't press that link button, it's not going to allow us to link to uh, the, the Huey. So this is the link button here and we press it. And now that we pressed it, we can go back to the code and uh, we're able to now uh, get an API key because it knows that we're physically next to the location. So it's kind of given that kind of security feature. So we'll go back to uh, getting the code now. So now that we've pressed the link button, uh, if we run the post again, you'll see there that we get the actual API code to use. Now, don't worry, I'm going to delete this code and this user, so you can't use it against me or anything like that. Um, you shouldn't share it out, but, uh, but now that we've got this, we can start to run other commands against the uh, Huey bridge because it's always going to look for this code um, as an authorization, basically uh, as the username in a way of uh, how it's going to connect. So from now on, we always have to put the API key after the word API. Once we've done that, uh, we can, for instance, run the uh, command lights. And you'll see we get information about every single light connected to the Huey bridge. We get the state, if they're on, the brightness, the Huey, the sat, the effect. Uh, we get who uh, created it. Uh, is it reachable? Uh, is there an alert set for it? What type of light it is? What the name is of it? 
which company made it. That's, that's basically Philips, but another name for Philips. What type it is, um, we can even get, uh, for instance, uh, it, it's so smart that it can even tell us the uh, direction that it's pointing. So as you see there, it will say downwards. So it actually knows where it's pointing. So it's all very, very uh, useful information that we can use to read and get information about the light. Uh, every light is denominated by an ID. This one here is number one. And we use this always to communicate by saying we want information about Huey light one. And then it's just gonna give us only information about that. So uh, if we take it off, we get all the information. Okay, so just to quickly show you how to control the brightness, um, the function for that is BRI, that's the value that we need to control. Zero to 100% is zero to 254 with Huey. 254 will raise it to maximum brightness. Put that, we get maximum brightness. If we put in, for instance, let's say uh, 100, that will lower the brightness to a little bit under a half. So just to show you from this view, we put here false. And then when we put that command, the bulb goes false. And when we make uh, on true again, and we say put, goes on again. So we have the Huey code here. Um, it is uh, not too much code because it's quite a simple process. Basically it's putting and getting requests over HTTP to the Huey bridge. So um, because it's gonna be online, we need to first uh, make sure it's enabled and connected to the uh, network. And we're gonna need the Wi-Fi um, library and the Wi-Fi client. We're gonna need to know what the IP is of the Huey server, which we found before. We set the host for the name of this little ESP that we're creating that you can see on your network. Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, the API for the Huey bridge, which we got before uh, from my uh, app or from the Huey app the port, which is 80, that the Huey runs on, uh, which light we're gonna control. If you remember before, we found that uh, we found the ID of the light that we wish to control, which is 26. And we're gonna be using this read string later on in the get Huey value. So to set the Huey value, we're gonna set, we're gonna have uh, three variables. First is the command. For instance, the command on. Then the value, for instance, uh, true. So we want it to be on equals true. And then the light. So we're gonna say which uh, light is it? And in our case, it's light 26. First thing we do is we reconnect to uh, Wi-Fi to make sure if we, for some reason, was disconnected from Wi-Fi, we will reconnect. I'll show you that later on, uh, the, the function for that. We connect via the uh, IP and the port. We create this put command, which first gives it the API. You remember when we were doing the interface over the web browser, it needs the API to connect with it uh, for security reasons. Then the lights that we're gonna control, which is in this case 26. The Huey server, uh, it needs to know the content length, which is the command length. So the value, uh, if it's for instance on, that's two, because it's O-N. The value length, and then plus five for additional content information that it has. Once we do that, we just send the command and it's gonna execute that on the Huey bridge. The next function we have is the uh, get Huey values for when we want to find out the state of a light. And this is quite simple. Uh, we set the, we uh, send the request for the value, which for instance would be on, and the light, which would be 26. So is light 26 on? Either it returns a true or a false. We of course connect to our Wi-Fi. We set the read string to nothing. We create the uh, 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 get request here with the API, the light, and the Huey server. Uh, and then we of course send the value through. The next function we're going to do is the get Huey, uh, Huey value function. And this will get us the value of the state for a light. For instance, uh, if we say on light 26, it's going to return to us, is light 26 on true or false? To get this, first we do a, a, a check to make sure we're connected to Wi-Fi. We clear the read string, which we're going to uh, uh, use, because we're gonna have to pass it and find the information. We then go here and we get, and we use the API, and we get the states for this light, 25. What this does is it returns all that information we saw before. We're only interested in the value. So what we do here is we go through the whole uh, return of that block of information we found before. And uh, we say, okay, find on, 
get the length of on plus two to move these two over and then return that to the next semicolon, uh, so to the next column. That'll give us the value of on. We return that as part of the function, we stop it and then we create a delay for 500, uh, half a second. That way we we're able to find the value. Going down, we use the uh, connection to Wi-Fi. I won't go too much into it, but it's a standard connect to Wi-Fi. Here is the function to connect, reconnect to Wi-Fi so that uh, it checks, are we connected to Wi-Fi? If not, reconnect, which we use in functions like here. Uh, we set up we set up the uh, serial speed so that we can uh, get the serial port, uh, monitor to work and we connect to Wi-Fi. And then we just have a simple loop function here I've created. Uh, the first is turn the light on and then send out a, a serial print. The light is on, wait three seconds, increase the light to maximum value, wait three seconds, increase the uh, light to half brightness, wait three seconds, turn the light off, wait three seconds and start all over again. And we're just going to go through that and uh, repeat through that as a demonstration of how to control a particular light. So now I'll show you the external uh, uh, view of this code running. So as you see here, um, we're starting it up. Um, we've got the little ESP32 here running. And here is the light. And as you can see, it is controlling the light. And of course, we can uh, connect that with other sensors, such as motion sensors and so forth. Uh, and this is a, uh, something I'll show you in uh, following episodes. So, uh, thank you for watching another episode of Richie's Robots. Uh, just to recap what we went through uh, in this episode, uh, we learned how to find the IP address of your Huey Bridge. We learn how to communicate on port 80, which is hypertext transfer protocol. That's the port that's used for that uh, protocol. To send get and put requests to the Huey to be able to get information about a light. Is it on, is it off, uh, and what brightness is it is. Or to put information to the light, uh, turning it on, turning it off, increasing, decreasing the brightness and so forth. Uh, and we've learned how to do that with some simple ESP32 code. All the code, of course, will be on the uh, YouTube uh, film and links. Um, any, uh, hopefully now you see that being able to do this, you're able to use much more cheaper sensors to be able to control your Huey environment. You can make, for instance, a motion sensor for like $3 instead of having to spend 30. Uh, you can make your own remote for a couple of dollars using just some simple buttons and some uh, pull-up resistors. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever or any advice or any uh, uh, requests or anything at all, feel free to put them in the comments and uh, I'll definitely be able to uh, get back to you on that. Uh, I ask please if you can subscribe. Uh, it really helps with the channel and so forth. You can just click that button and click subscribe. You can also choose to uh, uh, ignore notifications, but if you want to see when, a new film, uh, when I put a new film up, that's a great way to be uh, notified about that. Uh, so thank you in advance for uh, subscribing, if you can please do that. And uh, I look forward to uh, giving you guys another uh, tutorial on uh, some other inf interesting information uh, using the ESP32 or maybe something else that I come across with. All right, and uh, I wish everyone the best in 2022 because we just uh, changed into the new year. And uh, take care, everyone. Bye.